own suite in there. They spent all day going through the quarter, seeing all the shops, doing everything, going on Bourbon Street. Finally, they get up in the honeymoon suite. <clears throat> and Boudreaux decided he was going to lay down the law right away. Amen. He goes to his suitcase, pulls out a pair of pants, hands it to Cotillo, he said, put that on. She said, I can't put that on. So she puts it on and falls right off. She said, they're too big for me. He said, remember who wears the pants in the family. <laughs> she didn't say nothing. She went to her suitcase, got a pair of panties. Handed it to him, said, put that on. He says, I can't put that on. He puts it on, gets it to his knees, can't go anymore. He says, I can't get into that. She says, that that's right. And until you change your attitude, you're not going <laughs> to. <laughs> well, they, they got a house out in the country, nice little place, got a garden. One day they're in the garden, picking, you know, weeding and everything. Cotillo's bent over, pulling the weeds. And, and Boudreaux comes behind her and he says, Whoo, y'all, that's why. That reminds me of a big combine. <laughs> She didn't say nothing. Her face got all red, but she didn't say a thing. That night, they go into bed. He snuggled up next to her, man. She turned that shoulder away from him. He said, my baby, what's the matter? She said, you don't think I'm going to start that big combine for one little grain of rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 